the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's law. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 170, Amos 6-9 to The Five Visions of Amos Letting them know the last days of those Israel, God declared their histories, this continuation, and promised the beginning of a new hope. First point, Amos proclaimed the fall of those Israel. Amos, who was from South Judah, was called by God to go to North Israel and tell them of their fall. Amos, moreover, had to proclaim that their fall was most certainly bound to happen and they had to tell the leaders of their sins. Amos very specifically went into the evil behavior of the nobles of North Israel. Amos claimed that they were only interested in satisfying their own needs and completely neglected the poor and the weak, and so God decided to punish them without mercy. What they should have done was to correctly use their privileges and to carry out their laws properly. They abused and enjoyed their status and did no good with it. They made the poor even poorer and made the weak even more helpless. This was very different to the days of David, when the people were able to keep to the laws of a kingdom of priests whilst being protected within the walls of the city. Amos overall proclaimed that North Israel would be destroyed by Assyria in 722 BC. Second point, through five visions, Amos predicted the fall and aftermath of North Israel. The visions that Amos saw were five in total, which were grasshoppers, fire, from line, summer fruits, and also the destruction of the temple. The grasshopper ate all the grass in North Israel and led to their fall. Amos prayed to God to change his will and to save the people of North Israel. During the reign of Menahem in North Israel, Tiglath Pileser the third from Assyria invaded. But God heard Amos's prayer and eased the burden so that the people were not massacred. The second vision Amos saw was fire. Tiglath Pileser invaded North Israel and some of the people were taken as captives to Assyria. The third vision Amos saw was the plumb line. A plumb line was used to elect buildings and to set the structure straight. The plumb line shown by God revealed that God had measured their sins carefully and the result was their destruction. But in the heart of God, we can see how despite all this, He still wanted to forgive and love His people. Third point, Amos and Amaziah from Bethel started their conflict. During the vision of Amos, the opposition between Amos and priest Amaziah from Bethel continued. When Amos continually proclaimed the fall of North Israel, Amaziah, the priest from Bethel, reported this to Jeroboam II in North Israel and threatened him to return to South Judah. And so Amos proclaimed the fall of North Israel and also the house of Amaziah. Fourth point, the fourth vision of Amos was judgment, and the fifth was the destruction of the temple. The fourth vision seen by Amos was the summer fruits. God showed him the sins of the people that could not be forgiven. God said that he would not forgive the people who did not know or care to know about the meaning of offering or Sabbath. The people of North Israel were more concerned about being unable to earn money on Sabbath, rather than actually keeping Sabbath. God also said that He would not forgive them for their wasteful spending and false scales. God said that they would not be forgiven for sweeping the poor. The last vision Amos saw was the destruction of the temple. 
Although God spoke about the fall of North Israel, He still spoke of His plans to save the remaining people. Fifth point, Amos claimed Bible promises regarding the everlasting kingdom of God. Whilst God spoke about the destruction of North Israel to Amos, He also gave the five promises to restore them. This concerned the everlasting kingdom of God and also the coming of the Messiah. God first promised that David's monarchy would be restored. Second, God promised them that they would possess the entire world as their enterprise. Third, God promised them abundance in reaping. Fourth, God promised that their destroyed lands would be restored. Fifth, God promised that they would become everlasting people in the kingdom of God. This Tong Doc app is amazing. When I first met Dr. Zhou, we were speaking together at a conference. And when I saw the Tong Bible and the way he had placed this one story together, the Bible, one story, I ordered cases of this Bible. Now to see this app, the Tong Doc app, ready for you to use in your daily Bibles reading. This is amazing because so many people tell me I don't understand the Bible. And he has placed it in an order as so that it is one story. And then day after day, takes you through the Bible in a way that God's Word will touch your heart so deeply that it changes your beliefs. It helps you to rise up and be the amazing person He created you to be. Welcome to the Tong Dog app.